Good morning. I'm just popping on to do a little um, flip through of a journal that I have made off camera. So I'm, uh, yeah, I just felt in the mood for making a little, is it shabby chic, I think, um, mini journal. Um, I slow stitched the cover. There's lots of threads and things hanging on it and lots of vintage bits and pieces. So yeah, I'll just go through through it and, and show you what it is. So it's a, um, a fairly soft cover journal because I made it um, just with thin card and then it's got um, layers of lace which have been slow stitched on the outside and um, fabric which has been uh, machine stitched, just the fabric on the inside round. It has also got um, vintage um, buttons and vintage uh, necklace beads, there's a vintage button there, a little charm on a um, bulb pin. This is a uh, this is vintage, this is very old. It's a, um, a cameo necklace from I think about the 50s or the maybe even the 40s um, and dangles on one of the signatures because there's two signatures with um, again vintage pearl beads so they're um, they've got a bit of weight to them, they're not plastic. Okay, it's got lace, well it's got lace all over it, lace down the, the spine. I've left the um, threads showing from the uh, signatures. I, you know, I just stitched them in by hand. I didn't, um, you know, do a, a template or anything like that. Just left them, you know, shabby cheeky and then the lace continues over onto the back. So the, la the lace is all vintage, um, if not antique, some of it as well. Um, and it fastens with a big long piece of vintage lace here which has been stitched between the two layers. Okay so that's uh, the outside of it. So like I say there are two signatures that I've stitched in and I've stitched them with um, it's like cotton so it's like vintage cotton thread so it's quite quite thick. Um, this is just a, and now I haven't over embellished it, in fact I've, I've, I've embellished it very little as you'll see, so I've left it as a writing journal. Um, but this, I got a couple of these from Doreen I think in some lovely happy mail. Um, so I just put that little thread of um, well, bits and pieces of cotton and lace that was left over on there. Um, this is vintage fabric, um, just a little pop of purple, there's not much colour going on in here. And I literally just tucked it. I didn't make that as a tuck, but I literally just tucked that in there um, just to keep it in. So um, I can't remember how many pages. I think I put 10. So that will be 40 in each signature, 40 sides in each signature. So um, perhaps only two, two digital pages um, at the most, I think, maybe even only one in the, uh, in the journal. So that's Edith, Edith Holden from the diary. This is that lovely pink, really thick paper that I've got. I did embellish that piece, but I, like I say, I've not done a lot. This is original um, ledger that I got at, you know, a big ledger book at the, the car boot. This is an old, one of my old books, um, recipe books. It's more of the pink paper with just a fabric tab stitched on. This is an old lace. Um, kitchen so, sort of curtain um, sort of net and I've just put on it one of my clusters which is so this is I think that's raw is it raw satin or something like that and this is a brown mother of pearl button and I've just put it on with a couple of brads so you can take it off and use it somewhere else or do something with that this is a lovely vintage book page again sent to me in happy mail that's one of the few embellishments I've put on it coffee dyed and um, page of mine and then yep just a, a photograph clipped in of a young gentleman more of my frill down the side um, another embellishment I think I've probably put five across the whole book if that so and there's three at the beginning so another piece of an Edith book um, some stained and dyed vintage music paper another one of my embellishments and another. So that's five, isn't it? I'll, I'll see how many is in the I probably didn't put any in the back one at all. Um, so on the other half of that, I've just put another vintage button, mother of pearl button, a um, sort of, is it red, coppery? Um, it is vintage. Safety pin and just a piece of lace. So it will come off if you want to use it somewhere else. I've just stitched a leaf um, 
applique in there and I've just put a little circle in it just to show that you can put things in it more of that book just put fancy stitch around it more ledger more of the pink so it really is a writing or you know a working on journal this one I really have just you know let it sing beautiful um, image from Edith again this is from a, a vintage handkerchief from Malta and it's been hand uh, embroidered just a couple of uh, faux vintage tickets they're not real they're new <laughs> in there and um, that's the first signature so the second one again a bit of a digital at the at the beginning more of that pink paper so I've just um, stuck that on as a sort of a side tuck and put a piece of card so I haven't made a tag or anything particularly so it's all ready to go more of that lovely paper so I think the same similar pages in the back um, I've just done different things on them so that's a stitched in pocket that's a little Tim Holtz card in it just to show that it's a working pocket a bit more Edith more of the recipe book um, another piece of that uh, vintage kitchen net and uh, just a rose image that I've just clipped in this time so you can glue it in or have your paper free and with a lovely piece of applique on it more Edith and that's the centre now the centre of this one the other one was tied the centre of this one's got all the, the lovely beads and they will come up top if you want it to stand on a shelf so they're long enough to go either way um, that's a piece, uh, another piece of that handkerchief that um, vintage handkerchief from Malta another lace pocket there just a piece of tag in it another um, vintage button another big mother of pearl button and I have literally just um, threaded that through I did it with a needle but I threaded it through and tied it so you can untie it and take that button off and use it somewhere should you wish um, more beautiful Edith birds just a corner um, ruffle there and that's got a bulb pin with a little tiny key charm on it another lace pocket and this one has got um, a vintage photograph this has come from a photograph book of um, Bogner Regis Esplanade Concert Hall and a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera and then in the or not quite the back nearly the back so another stitched on pocket that is um, yes Kath Kidston um, material and this also came in happy mail it's just a lovely card some lovely um, blingy shiny on the edge and then I put a belly band in the back with some more vintage lace and the other one of these cards from from Doreen and it does you have to squeeze it but it does just 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 about fit in there um, and that's it okay so um, it will be going in Etsy but um, it may not go in well tomorrow I don't know maybe later on tonight if you desperately want it before it hits Etsy just email me and um, yeah I'll check before I list it and see see if there's anybody saying please <laughs> please don't put it on Etsy I want it okay thank you so much for looking I hope you've enjoyed um, seeing it and I will See you later with my Bluebell Woods video. Bye for now.